Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again. Now, a disc cutter is a really useful tool in your workshop. Great for making discs or punching holes in something. But it's important to get a good quality one. You see, you get a good quality one, it's going to produce a cleaner cut and it's going to reduce the amount of time you spend cleaning up your edges afterwards. So, with that said, come with me and let me show you a good one. Follow me. Now, as with all my reviews, this tool has been thoroughly, thoroughly tested. So, please forgive any murks or scratches on it. Yours will be nice and shiny and flawless when you receive it. So, this is the Pepe Tools Premium Disc Cutting Kit. And note it's called a kit because it contains everything you need, including the disc cutter, a range of dies, a stand, some Pepe lube and a urethane pad. Pepe also supply a set of positioning dies, which I'll show you later. So let's take a closer look at it. There are a lot of disc cutters, so why buy a Pepe? Well, take a look at the base here. The originals were powder coated aluminium, superb quality. They're now made from plastic. Now, Pepe could simply have injection molded this, as a lot of other manufacturers do. But look at the hole here. The pattern at the bottom of this hole is made from the cutting tool as it's milled and machined the hole. That's right, this has actually been machined from a solid block of ABS plastic. Every hole, precision machined, just like the disc itself. Look at the labels, they could have just painted them on or used transfers. But no, these have been etched using a laser. And this is what Pepe do. They use the best materials, the best methods to produce something that's totally fit for purpose and yet beautiful to behold. And this is just the base that it stands on. So the plate stands vertically, which I think is a great idea. It reduces bench space and it also makes it so much easier to pick up. The disc itself is finished to the same high standard with beveled edges and etch sizes in metric and imperial. The top plate is aligned by three steel pins for stability and there's no need for extra keys or tools. The knurled knob simply unscrews by hand and the spring loaded unit pops up. The kit comes with 14 punches which correspond to the 14 holes in the plate. These range from 1 8 of an inch or about 3 millimeters up to 1 inch or just over 25 millimeters. So there's a great range of sizes for all uses, either for making discs or for punching holes in something else. The punches feature a 7 degree cutting handle. Now what this means is that it starts to cut at one side and slices all the way around. So because this produces a kind of slicing or shearing action rather than just a straight punch, this results in a much cleaner cut and a much smoother edge on the disc. To use it, simply place a disc on a solid fixed surface. The Pepe Premium Disc Cutter features a clearing design. And what this means is that the punch goes all the way through the material to create a clean cut. So it's important to consider what the cutter stands on. You don't want to damage your bench by bashing the cutters into it, but vice versa, you want to protect the cutting surface. So avoid hammering it onto like an anvil or a metal surface. For this reason, Pepe also supplied the red urethane pad, which serves to protect your bench and also protect your punches. So unscrew the knob, and insert your material. 18 gauge for non-ferrous like gold, silver or copper or up to 22 gauge for harder materials like stainless steel. Think about where you're going to cut your hole to reduce wastage. It's good practice to insert a similar thickness of material opposite the hole you're cutting. This just helps to keep everything parallel and level. Tighten the knob to secure the piece so that'll clamp it and stop it from moving and select your chosen die. Use Pepe lube around the cutting edge and the end. This will help the punch to go through the metal and stop it from sticking. As well as protecting the cutting surface, it's also important to protect the rest of the cutter too. So I recommend using a two pound brass mallet. This gives the weight you need to strike the punches and cut the material, but the brass will not dent or shatter the punches. So place the punch into the hole and strike vertically downwards with a solid firm blow. For tough materials you might need to strike twice but don't remove the punch, just keep it all still and strike it a second time. You'll know when it's cut because the punch will fall through the hole. 
Leave it there and just lift the whole unit up. You'll see the punch drop through and your disc will be underneath it. So here you can see a close up of the edge, very smooth and very clean. And this is due to the seven degree cutting handle on the face. So very little finishing work required. Just pop it into a tumbler and it's ready to wear. So you can use this to make discs or to punch small holes, much faster than drilling. Couple it with a doming block and you've got a great combination for making all kinds of dome shapes and pendants very quickly and easily. So as you can see the level of finish and the attention to detail is absolutely superb. I don't know of any other company that puts so much passion and attention into every part of every single component including the base. That's why I love Pepe Tools and that's why I feel you deserve nothing less. So be aware of imitations, insist on Pepe Tools and you're going to get great results every time. Don't forget to check out the video on the positioning dies, a great addition to the Pepe disc cutter. I've been Dave Wilson, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon on the next video. Bye for now.